My name is Jesus Christ. Who are you? Hey, come here. Who are you? Speak out. Oh, I'm the king of this land. I am the king. King where? Of the river. How many powers do you have? Three songs power. One from the water, one from the forest, and one from the mountain. What have you done to him? I want him to serve me. He refused to serve me. His father's father served me. And I chose him to fast me. He shall not progress. How do you use the powers? I use the power to make a love to my the mighty name of Jesus Christ, out of him! Out! In Jesus' name, you are free. I'm Prophet Pastor Wisdom Jumbo. My name of my ministry is uh, Grace for One Nation Church of God. The woman beside me, she's my wife, Pastor Wisdom Jumbo. What brought me in the synagogue church of God was my wife's problem, blockage chupa. So when the, the, the white man, Harriet, comes to me, me and my wife in the prayer line, he lay hands of my wife, and my wife was fell down and started screaming. I was looking at my wife and said, ah, what is going on with my wife in that place? I was shouting, I was looking at it. And as if that the man said, take your own. So the things, when the man lay hand on me, the fire came out, came up upon me, and my eyes was open, and I saw, it's not the white man that standing before me, and I saw Jesus Christ. <laughs> and I saw the status fell down, and started, the evil spirit inside me started to manifest, and I started to confess. After that, um, when my wife began to tell me what that I said, he said, how come with all these things? I was surprised what kind of the things, the, the evil spirit to speak inside me because it's my ministry as a senior pastor, the GO of the church, as being in that ministry for the past five years in that ministry, deliverance and healing, God is using me in that place, cast out demons, heal people, and these people confirm that they are delivered. But how come this thing, an uh, evil spirit speak inside me. I was so disturbed throughout that day, throughout that Thursday. I was so disturbed. And, uh, and my wife said, do you remember what you used to dream? The dream that you used to dream. That you, you will see yourself in the dream become the, the governor of your state. Okay. Let me just take it one by one. You say, why you pray for people and, and the people deliver? Remember, God Almighty often use foolish things, even to deliver. Remember the pool of Bethesda, very dirty pool. And remember the harlot that met our Lord Jesus Christ on the way. Brother, like what we are saying, that uh, you pray for people, this and that. Look, do you know what confirmed was it is not pray for the person that he, that really confirm you, but the consistency of it confirm you are a minister of God. If I'm talking to you, let us see. Consistency of it. So, that is it. Those only that continue in Christ's word to be accepted as his disciple indeed. So try to understand what I'm talking about. So the consistency is God himself. Can't you hear what God said? He said, Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Do you ever read it that Jesus is the same yesterday, not tomorrow again? What is the meaning of the same yesterday to them? For is that not consistency? Yes. That is what I'm talking about. 
That is the consistency. That is proof of authorization. The evidence. If you are not the same yesterday, today, and forever in what you are doing, you are not called to do that. You are not anointed one. When you are anointed to do a job, you will the same yesterday, today, and forever. No matter the obstacle. No matter what we are facing as a servant of God, God's grace is sufficient for us. When the mountain comes and seems to be too big for you, and you are a servant of God, God's grace is sufficient for us. But when you are not called as a servant, and you are just called to do the job, come here, take it, go and give it to the brother there. Give it to the brother. If I'm not calling you again, are you still my errand boy? Are you still my servant? No, sir. That is exactly what has happened. It's a teacher, you give it to oh yeah, go and take that one. Give it to the madam. Okay, take that other one. Go and give it to the uncle. Okay, collect the one from the madam. Give it to the uncle there. Come here, collect the uncle here. Take it to the London there. By what authority is he doing this? He's a servant of God. If you understand, let me see your hand on. You know, first, I send you just one time and I, I leave you. And the other servant, I send him, continue to send him, continue to send him, he's under my supervision. He's a servant of God. So anyone can be sent just to give something. Take it again, take that book. Go and give it to our father there. Anyone can just be sent like that. Anybody can just be sent like that. Are you still responsive to me? No, no, sir. That's all. But if I now continue to send you, continue to send you, that is the consistency yes, I'm talking about. Yes, sir. Even when trouble comes, I will not leave you alone because you are my servant. Yes, sir. Okay, collect it again. Just face here. You want to pass here. Yes, sir. So try to pass. <laughs> and I send you. I'm the law. I send you. Eh? Yes, sir. Okay. What make you servant of God? Let me tell you. Just push this one here. As a servant of God, face this, you want to pass. Continue to push. Continue to push. It's not. But as a servant of God, you will not give up. But if you are not a servant of God, you give up. Yes, sir. Servant of God, have focus. Continue. God will allow you to continue. You see the consistency of that effort. Yes, after you have seen, yes. This is demonstration. You put it away. But if you are not a servant, this is where you will finish. This is, you will finish here. Now, what you begin to say is that I've been praying.